This is a guide on reinstalling the front assembly on the Apple iPhone SE first gen. For the reinstallation process, we will need the following tools. A Pentelope screwdriver, a suction cup, a plastic pick, and a Phillips screwdriver. The front assembly contains the frame, the glass digitizer, and the LCD screen. You will need to replace the entire front assembly if any of these components are broken. Turn the phone off by holding the power button and confirming the shutdown on screen. Remove two screws on the bottom of the phone with a pantalope screwdriver. Set the screws aside. Place a suction cup just above the home button. Pull on the suction cup and insert a plastic pick between the front assembly and the main body. Gently move the plastic pick along the bottom edge, separating the front assembly off the main body. Once separation is achieved, open the screen to about 30 degrees. The home button fingerprint sensor connector needs to be undone before the phone can be opened fully. Using a plastic pick, open the securing bracket over the connector and disconnect the fingerprint sensor. For a safe reinstallation process, we will need to disconnect the battery. The battery connector is located under a small metal shield Hold the front assembly vertically and remove the two Phillips screws holding the shield in place. Remove the metal shield. Disconnect the battery. In order to separate the front assembly from the main body, we need to gain access to its connectors under an AEM shield. Remove the four Phillips screws while holding the front assembly at a right angle to the main body. Remove the EM shield. Set the shield aside. Next step is to open the three small connectors. Use a plastic pick and gently open the connectors one by one. Separate the front assembly and place it on the desk. Some components need to be transferred from the original part onto the new assembly, namely the big metal shield, home button, front camera with light sensor, and speaker. We'll start with the home button. Remove three Phillips screws, one on the home button cable and two more on the home button bracket. Set the bracket aside. Using a plastic pick, carefully separate the home button cable off its adhesive pad. Pick up the assembly and apply some pressure to the home button from the front. Use a plastic pick to help separate the rubber gasket. Set the home button aside. Remove three Phillips screws holding the speaker bracket at the top. Pick up the metal shield from the bottom and carefully lift it up. The sensors are grounded to the metal shield with conductive tape. Pick off the sensors from the adhesive pad near the speaker contacts and carefully lift the metal shield together with the sensors and set them aside. Carefully guide all the sensors into their appropriate positions. Secure the metal shield with two Phillips screws on one side and two more screws on the other side. Replace the speaker. Clip in the speaker bracket on the left side, then push down on the right side. Replace the three Phillips screws. The longest one goes at the top of the speaker. Replace the home button onto the new assembly. Cover the home button with a metal shield and secure it with two Phillips screws. There is a tiny contact pad that is mounted on the third Phillips screw that was left on the home button cable. It needs to be positioned underneath the cable on reassembly three connectors. Caution! It is very important not to force any of the connectors. All connectors are very fragile. At this point, we can test the device. Reconnect the battery and turn the phone on. If the startup graphics appear, the replacement part is installed correctly. Hold the power button to turn the phone off and confirm the shutdown on screen. Replace the metal shield and secure it with four Phillips screws. 
Replace another small metal shield covering the battery connector. Secure it with two Phillips screws. Bring the display assembly to a 90 degree angle to the main body and carefully